is your girl Shamalani and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, if you are a new viewer to this channel, welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, what's good, baby? Welcome back to you, honey. You've made it to the third video. It's only the third one, but you made it. Welcome. I think you can already tell from the title that today's video is going to be a tropic that's not tropic. Oh my goodness, guys. So, like, you guys need to understand that this language is not our language. It's like a second, you understand? So, we are bound to make mistakes. But anyway, um, today's video is about a tropic that most people dread, and that is brows. I know how dreadful this topic can be. Okay, I've been there. I've been there. I went through it, done that before. And honestly, once you do get used to it and once you get the hang of it, it's not such a dreadful topic after all. So, today's tutorial is about beginner brows and how to flick those brows as a beginner and have them snatched. Okay, now I know this video is a bit long, but trust me, guys, it's worth it. You are literally going to see how I did my brows when I was starting to get the hang of things as a makeup person whatever you wanna specify it as but yeah that's just how this is just how I used to do my face it's just how it used to work for me and it's how it still does work for me but it's kind of a lot better now because I've gotten the hang of things and I have learned my face and the shape of every feature that I feel like I need to enhance so if you feel like you need the same just keep watching and yeah just don't forget to like comment and subscribe as you watch that video because i mean we gotta grow right we need to grow and growing means you've gotta subscribe right so don't forget to press that little button down there and subscribe and be part of this family that has such a crazy face to it if you want to say that i guess but yeah just do become a part of the family subscribe comment on any other content that you want to see comment on whatever it is that you see throughout the video and you feel like helps you whatever it is that you think of whilst watching the video just leave it down below so you don't forget and yeah let's just keep growing man and let's just keep teaching each other these things because i mean my techniques and what i know can be helped to someone to someone else and they can also help someone else and that person can help their extended friends and their friends of their friends and their families and you know we just keep growing and we make this a whole nation so everyone can know how to do these things right. So, without any more waste of Iglesia, it's quality time. Let's just get right into today's video. And so, for this, you're going to need a sharp eyebrow pencil. Um, This is a black opal thing. I think I got this from Clix, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. You're gonna need a concealer that is two shades lighter than your normal foundation. Um, you're gonna need your foundation, and yeah. Oh, you're gonna need a brush so you can be able to clean your your brows right after, and a beauty blender just to make sure that you can clean the surrounding parts of your brows or where you get products around your face and yeah just keep making sure that you keep sharpening your brow pencil as you go because it's important that it's always sharp in order for you to get a natural finished look and yeah you're also going to need setting powder in order for you to prep your brows before you start drawing them some people prefer to use foundation for that but i just prefer to setting powder because it, it eliminates all oils and everything that might be on my brows just before I start doing it just makes it quite easier and perfect to work with that. So yeah, this is just what you're going to need for this tutorial. And yeah, I think that's it. And yeah, what, what else am I forgetting? Oh, you're also going to need a brush to make sure that you can... Oh, to just brush your hairs up. And yeah that's just gonna put them in a physical direction i guess or in in the right direction that you want them to be in and yeah so the first thing you're gonna do is take your setting powder oh my god there's so much you're just gonna take a setting powder and just pat some on your eyebrows this is kind of a messy step to go through so yeah just be prepared for that the fact that it is very messy 
so you're just gonna put on some setting powder right there and you're gonna take a clean powder brush and just brush it off clean it off and then yeah the next thing you're gonna need to do is to take your the brush that you're gonna use to brush your brows and you're just gonna brush them in an upward direction just to make sure just to make sure that they're facing in the direction that you want them to be in just like that and then okay before we start I'm gonna need you to be conscious of two things the first thing is to make sure that your brow does not go beyond this point your brows always need to not go beyond this point and that is to make sure that they look as natural as possible they're not supposed to go through beyond this point and this point right here for some people some people do prefer to have it this long but we'll see how i'm gonna how long i'm gonna have it now i'm just not sure but i don't think it's gonna get to that point but you just have to make sure that your brows don't pass this point and this point that is basically how I know my brow is the right size because you find, well, it's just preference. I don't prefer them to pass this point because then if they do pass, it doesn't look as natural as it's supposed to look. So if I have it until this point, then I know it looks natural. But some people prefer it to have over that point. It's just preference. It's not the right method of doing things. It's just how people prefer to do it. And yeah, I'm going to show you how I do my brows. And yeah. So, the first thing is that you're going to do is you're going to take your brow pencil and you're going to start right in the middle of your brow, just where a lot of hair starts appearing. You're going to start right here and you are going to draw a straight line. This step, it's important for you to make sure that you get this line right and into the shape that you want your brows to be. You need to be cautious of this because if this line right here is not the, the, the shape that you want your brow to be, then it's just going to give you a whole different shape. So, I'm going to be going for an arced brow. So, my line just has to be like this. And you're going to write, you're going to go right at the top, just the way you start to the other line. And you are gonna start drawing the top line of your brow. This is where my arc is supposed to be, so I'm gonna arc it right just like that. It's really that simple. Now, after you do get this shape right here, then it leads you into the kind of a brow that you're going to be going for the job is literally done once you get this shape right here you're done with your brows now all i'm going to do is to just start feeling my brows in with the direction of where my hairs are naturally going you're just going to fill them in and draw them in the direction of your natural hairs And then once I am done with that, you come right at, as you can see, the front part of my brow has not been drawn yet and it has not been tempered yet. So you're going to come and you're going to take your pencil and you're going to start drawing vertical, well not really vertical, but yeah, vertical lines with your brow pencil, which are going to appear as brow hairs. So you're just going to draw those lines and fill your brow in just until the point where I showed you your brow needs to end and as you can see that it didn't go beyond that point so now I'm just gonna continue filling in until I get the right desired shade of my brow because I, I just don't like it too too bright 
and there you have it it hasn't been cleaned yet but that's what it looks like i'm gonna write, go right ahead and show you guys how to clean the other kind of brow and guys i forgot to tell you i'm not really good with this doing my face thing and explaining please apologize if i have a few blind spots i will get perfect with this and once i am perfect i will sure be able to do another brow tutorial so i'm gonna go ahead and shampoo oh, shampoo uh, guys sharpen my pencil again just to make sure that it has a sharp i'm gonna go ahead and do the say the very same thing that i did with the other brow Now I'm going to move to the front part of my brows and I am going to draw. I'm going to give you guys a skill. If you feel like you haven't yet mastered the art of drawing your hair where they're supposed to go right in front of your brow, you literally hold your pencil like in a horizontal line manner if that makes sense. And you're just going to come here and you're going to start drawing vertical artificial brow hairs same position you tilt it just a bit to whatever side that you're going to be working on and you continue with your artificial brow hairs My brows aren't even done yet, but I really like how they look. So, the next step for this is to take, take the concealer that is two shades lighter than your foundation color and start concealing right under your brow. And that is just to give your brows a highlight, a highlighted look and for them to look a little bit bright right under when you put your eyeshadow on so another trick with this when you start cleaning your your eyebrow under you need to make sure that you take your foundation your concealer bits and in bits and pieces until you know that you have full control of what's happening under your brows because if you just smudge the whole thing at once or in one um motion you might not get a perfect straight brow as you are hoping to get so the trick here is to take it bit by bit until you get to the end of your brow and then you can take it in one motion because then you've already given a direction as to where your concealer needs to go so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to the beginning of your brow and you're just going to gradually Clean your foundation. The trick here to not have foundation your ugh, your concealer where you don't want it to go is for you to I'm sorry guys is for you to clean and then distribute it to parts of your eye so you can create a base for your um what you call for your eyeshadow. So you're just gonna come and Clean that right there. You're gonna move with the concealer gradually as you go, as, as you put your concealer, not just in one motion. You slowly now. Now that you have given direction as to where you want your concealer to go, you go back and you hold your brush in a horizontal um, line and you're just going to go right there and you're going to move slowly with it. And you clean your brow. 
you are going to change the um, positioning of your brush as you go ahead with your cleaning so your brow will always direct you as you wear as to where you need to go and there I am done with cleaning the bottom part of my first brow and I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and I'm just going to clean that up see how it's supposed to look and then I'm gonna go right ahead and clean the other brow just pay attention to what exactly I do as I'm gonna be doing it how I did on the other side what i okay and i think yeah i'm almost done what i like doing before i finish um blending off this concealer right here is to make my concealer meet and just make a straight line there this is to help you see and figure out if your brows are on the same level and are straight to each other or are on the same horizontal line. I literally just take my found my concealer brush and I move it in a vertical line until I get to the other brow. And then I'm gonna take my beauty blender and blend. I am now gonna go to the upper part of my brow and for that I am gonna be using my foundation I'm gonna be using the million Pauline foundation that has SPF 50 protection which I think is sunscreen or something now you're gonna do exactly what you did for the bottom part of your brow I'm gonna go right there where my brow starts and I'm gonna start way further than where my brow actually starts and I'm gonna move into it slowly bit by bit by bit until Cleaning the upper part is not really difficult. It's really, it's actually the most simple part of the whole thing. Now, same thing. Just go there further than where it actually starts. And you start moving in closer. Now, I'm gonna do exactly what I did at the bottom part and make my foundation meet just so I am sure that my brow starts at the same place which I think they don't just finish this up now I've noticed and I've realized where there's a shortfall for my brow I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm gonna clean up the foundation that I had on my face just at the upper part of my brow I'm gonna clean that up now because I've noticed where my brow kind of starts 
a little lower than the other brow i'm gonna go back and check right to it if you can see this is where it starts this one starts a little below where this one starts so i'm gonna go back with my pencil and i'm just gonna feel it back in where i feel like it wasn't positioned right and then i'm gonna take my conce my concealer brush which still has a little bit of product left on it and i'm gonna hold my brush in a vertical position and i'm just going to clean the upper part of where i just filled in with my brush and that's it right there i think i fixed where i had some sort of a shortfall or mistake now I'm just gonna clean my brows using a beauty blender clean the surrounding of my brows using a beauty blender just so I can blend in the products that I had left on my face and the last step remaining before we finish this off is for you to take your brush and just brush out your brows this helps in keeping your hairs in the right direction and it also helps in making sure that it looks as light as possible this helps in um, blending out the a pencil that I used that the products usually gets um, separated if that makes sense and it makes your brows look a lot lighter than they actually are so i'm just gonna keep on brushing until i think i have achieved the desired color for my brows before i finish it all off i'm gonna take my beauty blender oh, happens with, oh. i'm gonna take my beauty blender and i'm gonna come right at the beginning of my brow and I'm just gonna tap it there a little which then gives an illusion of natural brows and there you have your beginner snatched eyebrows tell me these eyebrows are not beginner snatched and if they were not simple so as you can see that I'm done with my brows well guys before I go, I need to show you guys what I did say in the beginning of my tutorial. You take your pencil and you measure if your brows are the right size in measurement. That's exactly how I measure my brows and I can tell if they're the right size. And also for you guys to keep and bear in mind brows are supposed to be sisters and not twins you can never have your brothers twins unless I don't know you probably have a PhD in twinsifying or whatever I don't know guys but your brows are supposed to be sisters and not twins it's it's usually really impossible for you to get your brows as twins well not impossible but rare it's really rare for you to find twin brows but anyway yeah this is the finished product of my brows and this is just how i do my brows or how i used to do my brows in the beginning and i just grew from that until i was able to control and got used to the shape of my brows once you do get used to the shape of your brows it's way much more easier for you to draw because if you do check in the other tutorials it takes me less than what 10 minutes to do my brows and that is because I've gotten used to the shape of my brows and my face and the shape that I always want my brows to be in so it gets simpler it gets simpler as time does go by and as you continue doing this day by day which I will continue and forever say that in order for you to get good in makeup it's just the key is for you to practice there's really nothing more to it practice makes perfect and yeah that's just how i got here i used to practice and yeah i finally learned to do my brows i used to use um stencils and all these other things to do my brows before i could learn to draw them freehand but i really wouldn't advise you to do that because the longer you use stencils the longer it takes for you to learn your brows so i would just 
advise you to start off freehand and just learn from there because stencils do really dumb you hey they dumb you and you you don't want to learn because you depend on this thing but i wouldn't advise you to start with a stencil i would just advise you to just go on it freehand from the get-go and in that way it's much more fast and easy for you to learn how to do your brows learn the shape of your brows learn the shape of your face and really everything that comes with having perfect brows and yeah and now we've reached the end of our beginner brow tutorial and this is what my brows look like anyway i hope you guys enjoyed watching the video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel for more upcoming tutorials on how to snatch those faces as beginners because i really do know how difficult it can be for a beginner to get their makeup right so don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more upcoming fun tutorials for our beginners and of course as you guys will be going with me on this journey of becoming a pro makeup artist and you guys seeing me grow with you guys if that makes sense but anyway thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to your girl's youtube channel thank you guys so much for watching bye guys